If you are an honest person watching my video, please keep a hit aside and you keep your prejudice. Let us reason like adults for a minute. If you are over 18, I want you to use your head. This is a bit of truth analysis. If a South African man is married to a South African woman, and a Nigerian man is married to a South African woman, let us compare this for one minute. The divorce rate between a South African man and a South African woman is 45%. For the Nigerian man, it is less than 10%. The education of the children of these people, look at it, it is 50%. But the education of the South African woman to a Nigerian man is 98% sure. And that child will go to higher education. He will get a degree and even a master's or a PhD. Now let us come to alcohol addiction. 65% with the South African man and a South African woman. To a Nigerian child, it is only 5% and that is married to a South African woman. Now let us come to drugs. 53%, this is South African man and South African woman. Their children would be 53% prone to drugs. But the, the Nigerian man is less than 18%. Let us call it 18%. Prostitution for a South African man and a South African woman, the prostitution rate is 32%. But for the Nigerian man, it is only 3%. I want you to reason. Now, when we come now to careers, will the children be able to have a career in life? For the South African man, it is 49%. For the Nigerian and the South African woman, it is 77%. I want you to think, keep hate aside now. Let us do calculation. Now, the children of the Asians, the children of the white people, the children of the white men, of the Nigerian man, do not go into prostitution. The children of these people do not go into drugs. So who is the problem here? It is this man. This is the problem here. But when you tell this man that he is the problem, he wants to kill you. And this man is able to, to breed with a South African woman and to produce almost the same result that he would produce with a Nigerian woman. So this man is the problem. This man is trying to kill this man. And he is asking this man to leave his country. But what happens if this man leaves his country? This man will die of sicknesses. Why? Because you look at the ratio of doctors in South Africa, it is less than one doctor per 1,000 people. South Africa has a shortage of doctors in the country. This man refuses to go to education. This man refuses to have a degree. He refuses to become a doctor. This man is a doctor. This man has raised his children. In South Africa, we have over 5,000 Nigerian doctors there treating the people. And it is very huge. Let me tell you why. Because in South Africa, we have about 44,000 medical, registered medical practitioners in South Africa. And out of that, 26% are black registered medical practitioners, and which will give you about 11,440 black registered medical practitioners. And out of this, the Nigerian man is more than 5,000. That means almost a half of all the black registered medical practitioners in South Africa are Nigerians. So if there's a Nigerian man should say, I would leave with my people, this man would run short of doctors. It was only when this man came to South Africa that the maternal mortality rate reduced. Black women used to die a lot when given birth in South Africa until these people came. And why was that? Because of racism in the medical sector. We have over 5,000 Nigerian men only in the medical sector. When you go to the IT sector, thousands of Nigerians are there. But what this man is saying is drug. This man is always saying that this man who is saving his children this man who is saving his family and his mothers are his problem. I want you to think properly. I am trying to tell this man that that man is not his problem. The problem is him because he is addicted to alcohol, because he is addicted to drugs. And he is raising his children to become addicted to alcohol and the drugs and then the prostitution. Because he cannot take care of his daughters. That is why they went into prostitution. 
Tell me why a South African woman would feel even more comfortable and more successful with a foreigner than a South African man. Tell me why South African women are always looking out for foreign husband. Because the men are not doing their job as black men. I want you to change. I want you to raise your children the way the Nigerian men are raising theirs. If you raise your children that way, they will not be drug addicts.